Yo, hello, it's Pavika Sanar Revy here, and today I will show you how to make a black hole text in After Effects. If anyone is interested in leveling up their editing game, then make sure to check out Revy's website and check out more videos on the channel. Also, if anyone wants to check out my stuff as well, my channel will be linked in the description. Now, let's begin the tutorial. First, we are going to create a text. I'm gonna call it text. I'm gonna make it 156px, and I use a font called Lemon Milk. You can download it from the font website. Okay, let's position it right all right so first we add deep glow and uh, i usually just keep the settings like this now for the important part s warp vortex you do need to have sapphire plugins for this to work and let's post it up here here we're gonna make it minus 40 at the start uh, we're gonna keyframe it then here at the end of our clip we're gonna make it minus 64 it should look our something like this right now now we have to add an adjustment layer okay on the adjustment layer add another deep glow okay so this deep glow will be a radius 250 exposure will be 0.31 and now i'm gonna add cc vignette i'll make it to 131 on the amount and 49 on the angle of view and now for an important part we're gonna add four color gradient okay four color gradient i'm gonna pick my own colors you can pick whatever you want so for this i think i'm gonna pick this hashtag color then for this one i will pick this hashtag of a color for the third one i will pick this and the fourth one is gonna be this color Alright, so that's already pretty okay. Now we're going to keyframe colors, all of these colors, and we're gonna go to the ending of it. You're gonna copy and paste whatever hashtag you have here, and then you're gonna use this tool, press it on here, and you're gonna paste the other color you copied on here. Now you're gonna copy this one, and you're gonna use the pen tool on this, you're gonna paste the color on this one. It should look somewhere like this. Alright, of course, right now it doesn't look pretty, but we'll fix it. Okay, now we will make our 3D text. Just make a text, say text text just keep the height 156 okay position it now we're going to add a new solid layer pick this add element all right once you've added element go to custom layers custom text and masks and pick the text layer you just made now we're gonna go to output and multi sampling and make it 32 super sampling 8 go to render settings ambient occlusion enable ao ssao intensity around 15 that's it now we can make the text so go to scene setup and scene setup go to extrude go to presets physical and then pick chrome add it on your text okay, go to extrusion model and change the bevel scale to 1.12 now go to transform put the scale to 134 now go to your chrome extrude this to, to around 2 now go to textures here we're going to go to google on google type whatever holographic you want i like the color purple so i'm gonna type in purple holographic all right Let's find a great purple holographic. This one looks very nice. So let's let's save it. Now go here, go to non set, low texture, go to wherever you saved it, press purple. All right now, okay. And we basically have our 3D text now. Now let's press okay out of here. We can close this one out, we don't need it anymore. Now we're going to add deep glow on the 3D text below it, make it around one. This around 708. Now let's add S rays. Make the raise length 1, make this 1004, and this one 605. Now let's add BTC light sweep. Let's keyframe the light center at the start and make it 934, and this one 477. Okay, now let's make the direction 92. Let's make the cone width 34. Now let's add S flicker. For S flicker, you want to just increase this by a little bit, just add 7 here. So it's 0.27 and that's it. And now let's add warp. Now make it fisheye and now make the bend 69. Okay, now, now add pseudo color. Make the frequency 4.77. Now let's add S warp vortex and keyframe it here, make it Four. Now you need to press U and go here to the ending. Now you're gonna need to make warp vortex start to zero. Now you're gonna keyframe it. And you're gonna make a line somewhere like this. You can mess around with this. We'll basically just make a little black hole text. Come back here. Make the pseudo color frequency 4.8. Make the BTC light sweep 637. Now make an adjustment layer and add CC Vignette. 
make the amount 160. I forgot to tell you that you have to go to your text, the first text layer you have, and go right here where it says character and press this little button, swap fill and stroke, and it will make it look like this. It instantly looks way better. Another important part is to go back to your 3D text layer, the black solid, and go to a S pseudo color, mix of the source, all 0.52. Now it looks somewhere like this. Again, you can mess around the settings here. Now let's go to element, let's go to group one, let's go to particle look, deform, bend, Ena enable and enable here make the bang the angle 28 and bend direction 29 now our te text looks something like this now go back to the start of your 3d text layer press s now keyframe it make this one go to the end and make it 100 select the keyframes press f9 go to the graph editor and make a little graph The graph will look something like this. You can, again, mess around with the graph. doesn't have to look like this. Press on this button, so it will look way smoother. And this is what we have now. I think it looks pretty cool. You can adjust some other settings, but this is around what you will get. If you want to make the black hole stretched, and this version I kind of like as well, add S stretch frame edges. Add it below everything on the text layer. Go back to the start. Make the center squeeze 0.9096 and now keyframe it now go to the ending and here make it zero okay at this moment you have to select center squeeze uh, keyframes and press f9 go to the graph editor and make your graph look something like this so point it down point it down quite a, a lot and make this come here around yeah around here Go back here, go to a stretch frame edges, make centered width to 0.434 and make smoothness to 1. And that is the stretch version. You can use whichever version you prefer. I personally like the stretch one more, but I think Revy prefers the original one more. Alright, I hope you guys have learned how to make the black hole text. Uh, remember to test out different settings and be original. Have a nice and a productive day. See ya.